These are some parsnips in my raised bed. They've been growing now for about 20 weeks. And as you can see, I've got lovely foliage on them, lovely healthy, and they're standing about three foot tall. Now, there's almost a, a bit of a quandary when you're growing bed, just uh, when you should actually lift it, when is it going to be ready? Uh, and sometimes the problem is if you leave it too late, you let get a, a, a glut of vegetables. You have far more that you can eat, and then you're left with the problem of how to store them. Um, so if you can take them as you need them, that's by far the best way to do it. Now parsnips apparently um, need a frost, and a frost will make them sweeter. But then if you let them grow too long, they become woody, uh, and you'd wish you'd taken them earlier. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to take at least one parsnip and just try it, see what it's like, see if they're ready. Um, so I've actually started to do an excavation around the other side of the bed. I'll move the camera around and show you that now. And um, we'll take a parsnip out and see what it looks like. This is the parsnip I'm going to be taking today. As you can see, it's about as wide as the trowel. I've already excavated around it because these things tend to be uh, deep rooted. Um, I used to have some beetroot in here which would have made it awkward but I've already harvested those and on the other side of this I've got a row of leeks uh, and each side of the one we take and there's other parsnips so we need to be careful that we only actually take this one parsnip so as you can see I've excavated uh, I'm going to try and take this out by hand uh, if I can't manage that then I'll use the fork and these are parsnips that were uh, sown indoors uh, and transferred outdoors into this raised bed. Uh, there are a couple of videos on my channel that will show you how I've done that, uh, if you're interested. And I guess you will be if this is a decent parsnip. So there are a couple of videos on the channel to show you how to germinate seeds indoors. It usually takes half the time that it would do if you germinated the seed outdoors and bring them out, uh, transplant them into the bed. So let's see if we can give this one a wiggle, wiggle, wiggle and see if it'll come out. Nope. So, we'll pop this fork in and see if we can uh, persuade it to come out. Hopefully without disturbing its neighbours. combination of both now. Nope. So we'll excavate some more soil. Let's see if that does the trick. If I was taking the whole row out and there was plenty of room, I wouldn't need to be this careful, but as I've said, I'm only taking this one just to see what it's like. And I don't want to disturb its neighbours and the leaks behind it, so I'm taking a bit more care than you probably need to do if you were taking the whole row out. I think we're getting there now. Right, let's give it another go. There we go, it's coming, I'm fairly coming. Okay. Let's see if we can tease these the tops out of these. I put these supports in just to stop things blowing over really. And as you can see it's worked. Um, but we're getting there. There we go. Ho oh, oh. ho. Well, we're happy with that. And if you remember, I, I, uh, I dibbered holes in the raised bed and filled it with compost. And I think I dibbered them down to about nine inches deep. So as you can see, most of this root has got to the bottom of that nine inches. It's about nine inches. Most of this root has got to the bottom of the nine inches before it started to uh, sprout legs, so to speak, become a triffid. That looks about nine inches long. We'll take it indoors, clean it up and have another look at it. Okay, 
We're still fighting with the vegetation. There you go. It's about nine inches. And I would think that's about ooh, three inches. Okay, we'll take it indoors and have a better look. Right, let's scrub this guy up, see what he looks like. And we'll take all those take all those legs off. See what's underneath. Okay. My gardening brush. So it looks like, as I say, take all those legs off. That's what it looks like. That's a smarter already. Isn't it? Right. Let's get those legs off. Oh, and just before I do that, I'll show you this. Remember I told you I used the dibber to put these in? It's on my, it's on my channel and I dibbed them in about nine inches. I'm not too sure if you can see that, but this is where the varnish ends. And this is the depth that the dibber was put into the raised bed and then filled with compost. As I've said earlier, it's already on my channel somewhere. So that's how far it went in. So if we have a look at this guy, as you can see, he's grown to the bottom of the, uh, the dibbered hole with the compost in it and then he's started to sprout legs. So presumably, had I put that dibber in a bit further, these legs wouldn't have sprouted and we'd have a bit more uh, parsnip on the bottom. So how cool is that? Yeah, it's grew, it's grew straight, it's grew right down and it hasn't forked, it hasn't sprouted legs until it's got to the bottom of the dibber hole. So if I dibbed that wall deeper, presumably this parsnip would have been longer. But this is fine. We're going to eat this, we're not going to exhibit it, we're not going to show it. So it doesn't need to be any bigger than that. Okay, right, let's carry on trimming these legs off. And because we're indoors, and the scales are handy, I don't wait as well. What the pot? Can, can we? I've got the scales on me. Let's all do it. Okay. I'll just get these legs out of the sink. And then I'll also make sure I wash this sink for a little bit make sure that none of these uh, soil stays in the in the uh, urine in the trap. Otherwise, as I've said before, tomorrow. I'll have to put my plumbers out on. Right, let's have a look. A bit of water. Okay, let's do the way in. Pound and a quarter. That parsnip, one parsnip, a pound and a quarter. Um, that parsnip will be in the pot today. I'm well pleased with that. It's a good, 